Hey guys, welcome back to uh, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Nitro. Well, I'm back here at the Jewel Five Challenge, uh, trying to get Bob up here into my lander so we can finally land him at Vol. Uh, all I did off camera was just do the transfer burnout to Vol and then establish a uh, quick little orbit. So now we are ready to get Bob on the surface. I had these monopropellant tanks locked during flight so I could burn up the uh, fuel in the last part of my transfer stage, which is just about uh, depleted, but it should have enough fuel to get us over to Tylo. So there's my current resources tab. I did burn up a lot of this monopropellant, and then we are a good way through that last tank there on our transfer stage. So let's go ahead and get Bob on the surface of all. All right. All of these engines are deactivated because I deactivated them when I saved Jeb. Alright, Bob's ready to go. And let's see here. Not exactly sure what the Delta V requirement would be here as opposed to if I burned out at Apple Apps. So eh, it's about the same. So we might as well just burn all the way down here towards uh periapsis, I guess. Well, I don't know. We'll just give this a try. I guess uh, Apple F's this won't be too bad because it'll only take us about 30 meters a second delta V to get a intercept with the ground so we can land. So a landing trajectory. And then we're going to have to burn that 1,000 meter or yeah, 1,000 meters per second delta V in order to actually successfully land without dying. So... No matter which way you slice it, it's going to be about the same. So, uh, now that we're out here, go ahead and watch my resources tab. I'm just going to use the mono propellant to go ahead and give me a landing trajectory. Which uh, won't take very long since this craft is rather light. There we can just watch our periapsis fall to the ground. And let's see, due to the rotational period of Vol, by the time that we actually get down there, our landing trajectory is going to be somewhere in this area. Because this plant, this uh, moon, will rotate one quarter uh, by the time we get down here. So yeah, this craft will not be redocking uh, back up with the ship because I will have to stage it on the way down in order to stop. Uh, that thousand meters per second delta V is pretty much going to take all of that large uh, landing engine that I have. So I want to put this somewhere right here and then by the time that rotates it should give us a pretty decent 
landing zone to shoot for. Right about there looks good. All right, here we go. That was a bit fast, but uh, looks fine. Just gonna use my RCS right now and burn it. Uh, I don't really care where I land here. The white area or the blue area would be fine. Well, I guess blue area would be preferred. It's probably flatter. So 60,000 meters. I'm going about 1,000 meters a second. So 54 seconds. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see what happens here. Greatly decreased our speed, and that should give us a pretty good landing zone over here. Doesn't look too bad. So, you know, 300 meters per second is pretty manageable. Just want to burn up the rest of this RCS gas before I actually hit these engines again, if possible. And there we go. <laughs> Let's 
successful landing on the surface of Vol, and that wasn't too brutal. Uh, we did use up a bit of our fuel, but again, this thing has a tremendous amount of fuel, so I wasn't worried at all about the uh, fuel consumption of this sucker. So let's go ahead and get Bob out and tool around a little bit on Vol. Oh, we can. Now, Vol, since it does have gravity roughly equivalent to Moho, you can use your jetpack relatively easily. It's actually a really uh, nice planet to explore. It's got lots of interesting mountains and things. If you guys haven't been to Vol yet, go ahead and check it out. It is a pretty cool place to visit. So let's go ahead and look at where we are. So, yeah, we landed in a pretty good spot. Uh, it's a definitely a good planet to bring a rover to. I'm just tooling around on Vol. If you guys haven't found the uh, anomaly location yet, uh, spoiler alert, it is down here, although you probably can't even see where the location is. But just so you know, look in the South Pole area, and you'll find it. Uh, so I won't tell you exactly where it is, but... Uh, I did actually go there at one point. It's a really cool location if you guys get around to actually visiting it. So here's good old Bob. Having fun on Vol. The Vol Exploration Challenge was a lot of fun. Uh, made by Death Engineering on the KSP forums. If you guys haven't done that yet, go ahead and check it out. It's uh, another one of those fun challenges in the Jewel system. I don't even know what to call some of these sites sometimes. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Bigfoot Valley. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Good enough. Can't even see the darn flag. Uh, let's see. Kerbal should be able. There we go. Ta da! <laughs> be really cool if at some point they allowed you to have uh, like little lights or something on the top of the flag just to shine on it. That'd be kind of cool. But I think we're pretty much done here on Vol. We need to rendezvous back up with our ship. Should have plenty of fuel to get that done too. Because uh, Vol doesn't have an atmosphere that we need to be worried about. So we can just take off and get back up to the ship with no problem. So let's see where it is at here. It's over here. So we need to head, you know, this way. Um, let's set that as our target. And yeah. To remember to change control to this and let's see here all right so it's going that way all right here we go
there you go. You can see Vol is uh, real easy to get off of. We've got lots of fuel left in here. So now we can just wait until we get up to our Apolapsis, and then we can burn to establish orbit. We're going to be off by a few degrees, so I'll have to make an inclination burn. Twenty four thousand five hundred meters. There we go. I got my time warp capabilities back. I don't really like using physical time warp all that much. All right. Got a good amount of fuel still, so that's good. used up that whole stage. We do have an orbit, but a not a very good one. Let's get our inclination adjusted here. Alright. Looks good. And we can just wait until we hit our apolapsis. Let's see. I'm going to do a small burn just to get this periapsis screwing out a little bit. Like Right there. Alright. And now... Use this little blue maneuver node to adjust the orbit a bit. And I think something about like this should do it. It looks roughly even. And let's go ahead and plan for that. I almost feel bad uh, wasting this much fuel since we're in here. I almost wonder if I could just take Bob over to Tylo and then meet up with the Jewel 5 ship uh, just so we're not wasting any of this fuel. Because we do still have a fairly large portion of it. In fact, I think I'm just going to do that. There's no point in doing a rendezvous here. 
Not when we have this much uh, delta V and this much power, we can just go ahead and go over to Tylo and then meet up with the Jewel 5 ship over there as well. Um, <laughs> if there's even more fuel, I might even be able to uh, start the inclination turn for Bop, uh, but we'll see. No promises on that one. Because I really don't have to uh, get Bob in the ship. I just have to make sure that I'm able to rendezvous with the ship at the same intervals that that ship travels. So let's just go ahead and go to Tylo, I guess. Yeah, 0.0, .0 which is perfect. Um, not exactly sure what that'll do for us. Let's just go ahead and get a full orbit. Whoa. Hello. Looks like we got something. Don't even have to do anything. Um, uh, here we go. Very low delta V burn for this. Let's see. Tylo has really high gravity, so... Oh, I don't know. 35,000 meter orbit actually sounds pretty good. Because dropping more than 35,000 meters might be a bit rough. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to pan out. Um, well, let's just go ahead and do what I did over here at Vol and give it a 50,000 meter orbit. And that should do it. If I can fine tune this thing. There we go. Uh, that looks good. So 11.8 meters per second. That's a fantastic delta V burn right there. And it looks like it's going to be right here. So seven hours. Awesome, perfect, and perfect inclination as well. Great. Um, <laughs> I almost wonder if I could just take him over to like Bop and land on Bop, but I probably won't be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go Tylo. Alrighty. Good old Tylo. Have not actually landed on Tylo ever, so this will be a new experience for me. Looks like it was a 100,000 meter orbit, which is not what I wanted. But we do have two hours to get to it. Okay, Tylo. Very cool.
to go ahead and get that 50,000 meter orbit that I had hoped for since I'm here. I still do have quite a bit of Delta V, it looks like. Fifty thousand meter orbit around Tylo achieved, and I still have a tremendous amount of delta V. So that almost seems like it was a complete waste of time. <laughs> but uh, oh well, probably could have taken this lander all the way over to Bot and pole, and landed on both of them with this much Delta V I got left, uh, which is really something. Mm -hmm. Still have a very significant amount of fuel left, even though it doesn't look like much, I mean it really is. I'll just leave them here for now, at least we have uh, something to intercept with we'll rendezvous with them later um let's see jewel five Ooh. guess i'll have to go back to the space center in order to get on that um. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of that debris. And let's go ahead and fly Jewel 5 out of ball and get it on over to Tylo. So I'm just going to do the transfer out to Tylo with the Jewel 5. And then once the Jewel 5 is in orbit around Tylo, right next to Bob, then we can go ahead and we are go for landing. And I'll bring you guys back in at that point. Alright, now I've finally achieved orbit around Tylo, and Bob is sitting over there in his little Schofield lander, and we are ready to finally get a landing on Tylo. So let's go ahead and look at our crew roster. I don't want to use the same god twice. Uh, let's just go ahead and have Charlie be the lucky Kerbal that gets to land on Tylo. So let's go ahead and get you set.
All right. Charlie is on his way. Let's activate our engines. All right, that time everything works. That's great. And I'm actually going to try to land on this uh, little dark spot here. Maybe. Uh, we'll see what happens once we do a full orbit. And I'm just going to burn at periapsis and bring us in for a landing because that's a lot better than uh, achieving a full orbit, believe it or not. So we'll just do, you know, something like that. It will be pretty hefty delta V requirement, but uh, I think it'll work. Looks like it moved quite a bit. I think what I might actually do is just burn up all of the uh, RCS like I did before. Might bring that orbit down significantly. Nah, I'm just not sure. Yeah, I think I'm just going to continue to do that, bring this uh, orbit down until we have something that's suitable for landing, and then I'll bring you guys back in once all the monopropellant is depleted. Alright, RCS fuel is completely depleted, and that's the resulting orbit that we got from it, so as you can see it made a significant difference there. And we'll just do one more orbit before I finally do my descent burn. I guess. I don't know. I kind of want to land this crater now that that's coming up. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and do one more orbit before I finally burn to land in this little crater right here. if I'm going to be able to make that. Actually, this crater is a better option now that I look at it because uh, it's right on the equator, so I don't have to do any inclination burns. I don't have any delta V to be playing around with here. Tylo is uh, going to be kind of hard to land on and get off of. I have faith in my lander, but... I mean, this is the first time I've ever attempted a Tylo landing, and I hear it's hard, so uh, we'll see what's in store for us here. Looks like we're going to have to do another orbit, because that brought my existing crater right there at Periapsis, so that looks pretty good. Should be able to land right in the middle of it. Probably give it one more orbit, and then that should do it. All 
then we can very, very, very carefully start our burn. Looks like we just barely passed the other lander there with Bob in it. Oh yes, that looks good. All right, almost went too far. I'm just gonna have to burn now. It's not putting me right in the middle of the crater where I wanted to land, though. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, looks like we're gonna miss it. Probably put us right on the rim. I'm lucky. Actually, I got a different plan that I wanted to try. Um, since this does take so much uh, Delta V to get down there, and I don't really have a whole lot left in the transfer stage engine on my ship, this is something that I had in my mind. I wasn't quite sure until I started the burn there. But uh, I think what I'm going to do, and I really hate that I actually wound up doing that and uh, <laughs> reverting to the, the Space Center, but oh well. Uh, what I want to do is, yeah, I want to dock my transfer stage to the lander. And that way, the rest of the fuel in the transfer stage can help that lander and land safely on Tylo. I think that's going to be the plan. Because this transfer stage doesn't have... Uh, very much fuel left in it, so only 320 units of fuel. The RCS is depleted though, so let's go ahead and see what we got. That's depleted. I know all these are full, uh, but there's not really a way for me to measure out any. I don't really need RCS for anything though. So let's just go ahead and transfer this RCS fuel into the larger tank. And then I can get this thing up to my lander. I think this is a much better option than what I was doing.
Alright. Now I can just undock this thing. Goodbye, engine. <laughs> and let's go ahead and switch hopefully to it. Yeah, we're on that engine. So on out that's the last we will see of this engine <laughs> so let's meet up with the lander which should be this one So here I should be able to catch up to it just a bit. And I'll plan for that maneuver node, which is 59 meters a second, and that is very doable. Provided I don't hit my ship. this by quite a ways. So yeah, and that's our lander over here. All right, looks like the center set might take a little while. I'm going to bring you guys back in once we have a close encounter. All right, well, I got my close encounter uh, planned out right here. So this will be our intercept mode, and I can dock to this lander and then use all this fuel to help do a safe landing on Tylo. All right, good. So I didn't overshoot it by too much.
triangle. There it is, and it looks like it's facing us, which is great. All right. Now we just need to dock right here. There we go. All right. Oh, uh oh. Come back. All right. Okay. There we go. Now we just need to control from here. Make sure that's on. All right. What happened here? All right, good. That has full fuel. Let's just disable crossfeed. And let's see. Bring that one down here and then disable all of these engines. I, well, yeah, we're going to have to shut them all down. There we go, and let's see, monopropellant, looks like we got all of it still. Alright, now we can start the painstaking task of burning down our apolapsis and periapsis here. So yet again, I do want to use all of the monopropellant, which we do have a significant amount this time, so I will bring you guys back in once all of the monopropellant is depleted. Alright, well my RCS just ran out, and this is what we have so far, so not too bad. Um, I really don't like to waste fuel, but I think that this will be just enough to get the job done. Uh, I reactivated all these engines and instead just disabled the fuel lines on the tank. So uh, that'll be a lot easier for me to activate these engines once we get closer to the surface. So 
That's why I did that. Uh, on that note, I don't really see our landing zone, so not really sure how I'm going to do this. Um, I do want to land in that crater, which I believe is over here somewhere, so I'm going to switch over to the Jewel 5. And just uh, try to get this going a little bit quicker here. And I'll let you guys know uh, once we have that crater in sight so we can land on it. All right, well, we have our crater set up right here. And now we're ready to actually start uh, getting this thing to the ground. So I think I'm just going to start the burn somewhere around this area here and see how that works out. Forgot it uh <laughs> reactivated all the engines. Um let's see disable crossfeed. I think it just used uh fuel from that. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened, oddly enough. Very interesting.
This seems to be coming in way too fast for these darn things. Oh, I'm gonna have to burn it way earlier. Seems like it definitely helped though, so I am happy with that. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. There we go. Okay. It's not exactly in the middle of the crater, but we'll see how well this turns out.
we go. Successful landing on Tylo. No matter how many tries it took, <laughs> we are finally here. Okay. So I just wanted to balance out the fuel real quick uh, before we do anything else. Let's go ahead and have you leave seat. Oh no. There's no way I'm going to be able to get back up into my lander um, from Tylo's surface, I guess, since Kerbals can't really jump very high here. Um, and then we'll try option two. So let's just go ahead and raise landing gear. There we go. All right, engine's still operational. And we should be able to. <laughs> I should be able to get back up into that seat uh, from the surface here, but yeah, finally on Tylo for my first Tylo landing. Took a couple tries, but finally made it. Alright, so now I have a good idea of what it takes to actually land on Tylo. Let's see if he's capable. Uh oh. <laughs> Might not be able to get back in there. It's alright. Yeah. 
stupid auto save. Damn it. Ha! There we go. A little rough getting back up in there, but finally did it. <laughs> Activate that suspension, and I guess we are going to need to go to the left, if I'm not mistaken. Um, All right. Just so I know which way for sure I'm burning. Okay, not sure if we'll be able to achieve orbit again, but I will sure try. Here we go. Right. Looks like we got enough fuel to achieve orbit, so I am hopeful we'll be able to pull this off yet. Um, let's give us a little bit more altitude, maybe the 30,000 hopefully. Come on. All right, here we go. Burn. Not gonna make it. <laughs> Well, I tried. <laughs> you landed on the surface. Looks like we're gonna have to use the emergency lander to get him back up. There we go.
I forgot there weren't fuel lines attached to that thing. Still not enough to achieve orbit, <laughs> unfortunately. That sucks. Well, I'm gonna have to end it there and we'll figure out a way to get him back off the planet later.